get called daddy a lot? Uh, on the internet, sure. <laughs> I love you with your glowing skin and your perfect face and the beautiful curls in your hair. I just want to hug you because you are the love of my life. People are not nearly as thirsty as I thought they might be. I've read worse things in my comments. United tops of Smash Bros. <laughs> Henry Cavill can like stick his tongue down my throat, I guess. Thanks. Thanks for the opportunity. That definitely got thirstier. Henry Cavill could destroy my body and my life and all I'd say is, so does tomorrow work for you too? Yes, Sam. Tomorrow does work for me too. Can I just say it? Henry Cavill can destroy me like legit. He can Superman this hoe. That's very kind of you. I appreciate your vigor, but um, don't hurt yourself. Be careful out there. I would let Henry Cavill split me in half. I'm just gonna say it. Thanks for saying it. What do people get up to in their free time? Henry Cavill could leave me on read at 4.30, text back at 8.47, and I'd reply at 8.46. It's a neat trick. <laughs> I really do need to get Twitter. I could spend hours reading this stuff. Okay, this is the last one. Henry Cavill definitely exudes big dick energy. And to make it even better, I'm 99% sure he's actually big. I'm weak just thinking about it. Thank you. Why the 1%? I ask. And furthermore, no comment. Richard Madden can run me over with a bus and I'd still suck that dick. Um, in that order? Everyone go see Cinderella because 90% of the movie is just Richard Madden's bulge and butt and man, it's so worth it. And that's a fact. Nothing to do with the pretty girl in the blue dress. Richard Madden's jawline gives me man boners. And I appreciate that. You know, I used to say I hated chest hair and facial hair and stuff like that. And then I saw Richard Madden and that was a life-changing experience for me. Thank you for that. I tried so hard with this stuff. So I'm late to the party and finally watching Bodyguard and I think I'm pregnant after just looking at Richard Madden, which is something that does happen and you must be careful. Anyways, random thought, but I would let Jon Snow take me from my mouth and Rob Stark from behind, even if they don't shower. I'm worried about you. Richard Madden existing is a thirst trap. Is that a genre of music or a thirst trap? I'm gonna take it as a good thing. Wow, hashtag Bodyguard is pretty epic drama and that's without even mentioning Richard Madden's butt. Bodyguard drops on Netflix today and so begins my Emmy campaign for Richard Madden's left jaw muscle. It does so much work over six episodes. That is actually true because a lot of the time I just I had to clench because I didn't have a lot of words. I was thinking about Richard Madden on my flight and my nipples got hard, which might have just been the aircon to be fair. I want to bend Richard Madden over, pull his hair, make him arch his back and wreck him like an iron fist going through a wet sheet of paper. I do hope my mother isn't watching any of this. Taron Egerton and Richard Madden are going to play a couple. Thank you, gay gods. I didn't realize they were gay gods, um, but they have bestowed that gift upon us. And that's, we got to the end of this horrible buck. Um. <laughs> My ideal weight is Taron Egerton on top of me. <laughs> My mum's gonna see this. Taron Egerton, crack me open like a walnut, please. I'm looking for age 28, gender male, characteristics, love singing, Welsh, dreamy eyes, strong jaw, killer wink. It's Taron Egerton, I'm looking for Taron Egerton. That's very, very lovely, thank you so much. Taron Egerton's voice makes my heart, brain, lungs, arms and legs go whoosh, 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 Thank you very much. I'm presuming that's good. That sounds a bit like you might be having some sort of cardiac arrest, but I mean, that's, that's quite nice, thank you. Anyway, can I just say that I let Taron Edgerton slit my throat with his jawline any day? Wow, I mean, that doesn't sound particularly pleasant or sexy in any way, but I guess it's a, I guess it's a compliment, so thank you very, very much. I got it from my, my, my dad. I want Taron Egerton to redacted in, in brackets? What does that mean? Can't say it because it's too rude. Okay, I want Taron Egerton to something me while I have his something in my something something and he can something something. Oh my God, this is real. That's really quite full on, isn't it? You're gonna make me blush, whoever you are. Just saying this a couple of months in advance. Taron Egerton owns my ass. That's lovely. I don't, I don't need any more. I've got plenty, I've got plenty for one, for one man, I think. 
Taryn Edgerton and Richard Madden are both single now, then send them my fucking way. I have hands and I have holes and I'm willing to put them to good use. And that, based on the picture, is, is Rami Malek. Thanks, Rami. Someone make Tom Ellis read first tweets, please. Well, they're doing that right now, because that's me. I'm thirsty, mum. You've just had a drink. Me, the thirst for Tom Ellis never stops. <laughs> I want the government to create a law where Tom Ellis can't wear a shirt. He has to be shirtless 24-7. Um, I'm not sure everyone would agree with that. Um, and I don't want to, you know, be responsible for some cardiac arrests across the country. So um, maybe we should leave that law for now. There's more important pressing government issues, I think, at the moment. This one simply reads, I think it's a poem. Tom Ellis is daddy. I repeat, Tom Ellis is daddy. Tom Ellis is daddy. Tom Ellis is daddy, 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 Tom Ellis is daddy. I didn't realise I had quite so many kids. I'm only living to see Tom Ellis's butt. Tom Ellis's but what would be my response to that? Listen, if you're gonna watch season four, you won't have to wait long to see that. Freshly cleaned and shaved. Tom Ellis makes me so wet. That's the tweet. <laughs> Oh, it's from a lifeguard. There we go, that's good. Ooh, I'm getting a bit hot in here. I officially told my mum today that I want Tom Ellis to dick me. She respectfully agreed. Um, I hope that's a typo. And I didn't realise dick was a, was a verb. Just, uh, yeah, I'm gonna move on from that one, I think. I don't think I've dicked anyone for a while. Tom, this is all caps as well. Tom Ellis in glasses owns my ass. So there you go, I'm now the proud owner of your backside. <laughs> This might be something to do with the tight jeans, but this just says, Tom Ellis just looks like he has a really long dick. <laughs> Tom Ellis, fuck me in the ass with that English accent. If that were possible, I would. And if you do want to be fucked in the ass with English accent, there's certainly some more English people than me. Maybe we could get Benedict Cumberbatch in here. He's rather marvelous as well with his old accent. He's got a 10 inch accent, did you know that?